300 Empire. Today, covering major news across San Diego. 10 News. Oh, my. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Spinelli and I actually have some errands to run, so let's just pretend no, we weren't here. No, we cannot leave at such a revelatory moment. But Spinelli, my dry cleaning's ready to be picked up, and I'm pretty sure you don't have any more orange soda. This Jekyll's second dearest dream is unfolding before his very eyes. My treasured friends are reuniting. Well, congratulations on your clean bill of cardiac health. Well, don't sound so surprised. I'm as fit as a fiddle. And I really plan to enjoy myself at that carnival. You go ahead, just don't overdo it. Oh, I won't. The carnival's too important. Michael and the foundation and everything. Boy, I really plan to have a good okay. time. Well, I'm sure you will, but just stay away from the Ferris wheels, take it easy on the corn dogs and cotton candy, all and right? Now listen, buddy. I am an 80-year-old man with a 40-year-old heart. Not some doddering invalid ready. You really think you're fooling anyone? I keep getting these weird flashes of people talking to me while I was in the coma. And you remember hearing Jack's? Yeah. He said you were sorry. For what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, why were you apologizing? Like I said before, I don't want you blaming yourself for the accident. Dad, I'm the one who forced Claudia's car off the road. Your baby died and it's my fault. Okay, listen. You needed your father to support you. I wasn't there to give you that. If you want to blame anybody, you're going to blame me. Yeah, we really need to get them together more often. What about tomorrow? Well, uh, Lucky and I are taking the boys to the carnival, and it would, it would be nice if you and Spencer could come with us. Well, I, I, I was planning on going, but didn't think that I would take Spencer. I go to a carnival with rides and games and hot dogs, and you're not going to bring your kid? <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right, yeah. Well, you told me yourself that Spencer needs more opportunities to just be a little boy and enjoy himself. True. Well, it'll be fun. For all of us. And it would help you get your mind off of recent events. Nicholas. Hi. So happy I caught up with you. Hey. So am I. There's absolutely no reason for you to be hanging around the hospital. Unless you're looking for Robin. As a matter of fact, I'm doing everything I can to avoid Dr. Scorpio since she's obviously trying to frame me for murder. Robin doesn't frame people. I expect you to defend her. You're clearly in league with your brother and his wife. Why don't you let the police do the investigating? It's their job, not yours. And I will not be going on any roller coaster. <laughs> but if I did, it would be less of a strain on my heart than spending one evening at home with my daughter, Tracy. <laughs> I think maybe we should do another EKG on Mr. Cordomay, just, just to be sure. Oh, no, 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 thank you, boys. I've had enough of your poking and your prodding, and I'll see you both at the carnival tomorrow. Have fun. Okay. All right. What was that about? I think you and Robin are right about Floyd. I just cut her spine on you. No, please don't part on my account. I'm delighted to witness the renewed connection between 
There's some menthol in Stone Cold. Uh, Spinelli, the orange soda? Oh, there's some in the pantry, thank you. Um, I, I, I must admit to feeling a, a little bit vindicated, because, I mean, from our first meeting, I knew that you two were, were destined okay, Spinelli, for... Spinelli, you need to stop. Oh. I have to brush aside those protestations in the face of this happy evidence, Stone Cold. This is... Maxie has errands. Mm-hmm. Dry cleaning. Clearly, this latest adventure south of the border has spiced things up, and things are back where they were meant to be. <laughs> I have errands. <laughs> oh. What's wrong with you? Are you are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna go after her? Uh I was out of town when you were shot and uh, my family needed me and I wasn't there, so hey. probably You had no uh, idea of knowing that, that was gonna happen. No, but you were devastated and I didn't support you the way I should have, so I was probably apologizing to both of you. <laughs> After the way I've screwed up? Oh, I, I just wish I would have handled things better. Mm -hmm. If you need to hear it, I forgive you. Thanks, Michael. I think it's a good thing that you remember his death. I really do. Yeah, as long as you guys didn't blurt out anything that would uh, come back to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, all we did is love you and give you tons of encouragement. Yep. I hope you keep remembering more. Don't you? If I had spent more time with you, none of this would have happened. You don't know that. What I do know is I, you needed a father, and I wasn't there. I let circumstances keep us apart, and I should have been in your life. That I did about a million things wrong. I drove without a license forced Claudia's car off the road and didn't even check to see if she was okay. I ran away with Michael and didn't even tell him I was responsible. Real nice of me letting my brother think he did it while I kept my mouth shut. You were scared. And that makes it okay? Well, you told your mother, you told Michael, you told me, right? Eventually, when I basically had to. Listen, you've been feeling guilty. You've suffered enough. So I get off with barely a slap on the wrist. You want me? I can punish you. I can ground you for two weeks. Is that what you want? No. Then what is it that you need? It's just... Uh, what? It's so weird to think of just to wave a magic wand and forget about it. Okay, let's... Uh, hear me now, right? Let's say you come forward. You're going to live with this mistake your whole life. You think that's fair? I still don't get why you're not mad at me. Because I don't want this derailing you. You got, you, you got, you're doing great in school. You got st straight A's, community service, sports. And, and you're a, an, an amazing girl in every way. You act like I'm perfect. I'm not. You really knew me. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. C, but there's a urgent business matter we need to discuss. Elizabeth and I were just discussing the hospital carnival tomorrow. Yeah. She and Lucky are taking Jake and Cam and invited Spencer and me to come along. Uh, you want to join us? Um, yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> um, if that's okay with you. Okay, yeah, that, that would... That'd be great. I'm with Mary. Okay. Great. Great. It's all set then. Hmm. Well, I've got to get to work. Uh, Lucky will call you to coordinate. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> wow. That was a surprise. I was expecting her to, to, I don't know, to tear into me after learning about my plan to con you. Well, Elizabeth wants me to be happy. And she knows I'm happy with you. Well, the feeling's definitely mutual. Nicholas. <laughs> Such a relief that now everything's out in the open. Sam walked right out that door, and you just stood there. You didn't do anything about it. Do you know how selfish that is? What are you talking about? She wanted to leave. 
Yeah, because she was mortified. She was probably hoping you were going to agree with Spinelli on everything he said, how, how excited he is that you guys are back together and how good you guys are for each other. This is none of your business, Maxie. Maxie just speaks from the heart. She can't restrain her passion. You might try a little passion. Okay, this conversation's over. No, all right, fine. Ignore me, like you always do. But you're going to need to listen to Spinelli. He's even going to ask you to do Actually, the honor. No, that's something I will discuss with Stone Cold Man to Man. Thank you. Okay, fine. But if no one else is going, then I'm going to go check on Sam. Make sure she didn't crawl under a rock out of utter embarrassment or humiliation. Oh, and Jason? Don't you even think about saying no to Spinelli. Saying no to what? Your, your assistance is greatly appreciated, but I can use my own powers of persuasion. Okay, good luck. But um, I would save the pink tie part for last. Pink tie? So, how do you feel about roller coasters? <laughs> Seriously? After what we just said, you're gonna ask me that? Oh, come on, cut me some slack. I'm going to an important question here. Oh, what is that? Well, hospital carnival is tomorrow. Oh, don't I know it. I believe for the Michael Corentos Foundation is... Somehow I got roped into organizing the whole thing. I mean, not that I complain. It's, it's a great cause and everything. I'm, I was happy to do it. But... So you're going? Of course I'm going. Okay, well, how about being my date then? Huh? I can win you one of those... Giant stuff down. Oh, that would be so nice. <laughs> I'm gonna be working most of the time. I'm gonna be organizing volunteers, you know, checking the box office, basically, bossing everyone around all day. So. <laughs> okay, so you're turning me down, huh? Ouch. I just thought maybe you'd have a better time if you didn't have to wait around for me the whole day. Uh, of course, we may run into Sonny as well. You sure you're not avoiding Sonny seeing the two of us together? Dad and I were kind of in the middle of something. Uh, Christina, he wouldn't interrupt if it wasn't important. Um, I'm going to have Milo drive you home. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, carnival's tomorrow, right? You, how about if I take you and the boys? Would you like to, would you like to do that? Yeah. That sounds fun. And then you can uh, buy yourself a uh, pretty little dress, okay? Thanks. Come on. All right. How's Christina doing? She's doing okay. She just needs guidance. I'm going to spend a lot more time with her, whether Alexis wants it or not. Well, I'm sure Christina would like that. What's going on? <sighs> Cops busted her latest shipment. Oh. We got two mid-level lieutenants in custody right now. Entire <sighs> shipment's a loss. How do the cops intercept the shipment? Is there another leak in the organization? Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Jax. Hey. Hey. Welcome home. A lot of people were worried about you. What are you doing here? Oh, I guess your dad didn't tell you. Tell me what? You know what? Uh, no rush. I'll come back some wait, other wait. time. No, I need to know right now. Okay, look, nothing's been decided. And, and, and if you're not okay with it, we're going to figure something out. Will somebody out. please stop talking circles and tell me what's going on? Look, your dad has hired me to work for him. He wants me to be a bodyguard to you and Morgan. Mm. Oh, cool. No way. What did Maxie mean by pink tie? <clears throat> uh, details of sartorial splendor pale in comparison to your your joyous news. Your heart must be bursting. Okay, Spinelli, we're, we're not discussing Sam. Despite your protestations, it is written in your eyes. You are awash in a tsunami of romance. If you change something else in my house, are you, you going to ask me next time? Oh, that? Yeah. My intended is just often remarked how it would be nice to check her appearance before departing. And with all due respect, you have never once evinced the slightest interest in home decor, which leads me to believe that you're simply deflecting the Jackal's comments on your reuniting with Paris Samantha. Sam, help me find Michael and Christina. That's all you need to know. Leave 
Jason? I mean, I'm, I'm starting to feel like he wouldn't know chivalry if it bit him on the butt. Really? Well, do you know how many times he's actually saved my life? Please. I don't know how you put up with him. Well, I don't think you know him. That's, that's why. That's true. <laughs> Welcome home, by the way. Congratulations on finding Michael and Christina, blah, blah, blah. Now, back to the important stuff. What happened with you and Jason in Mexico? Um, you know, it's long and, um... Complicated. Okay, well, why don't you just bottom line it for me? Did you guys have sex? Maxi, I'll take that as a yes. Was it good? Better than good? How much better than good? Like, were there explosions and out-of-body experiences? I don't want to talk about this. <gasps> Sam, that's so amazing. I'm so happy for no, you. stop it. There is no Jason and me, okay? We are friends who occasionally work together. Is this the package from the boutique? Yes, sir. These arrived moments ago. Thank you, Alfred. That'll be all. Sir, if I may say so, this gift may be a tad inappropriate. Well, I will use all the resources at my disposal to achieve my goal. But to mold Miss Shaw into an imitation of Miss Emily? Perhaps. <clears throat> I intend to encourage her to dress and act like Emily, leading her to believe that she could actually take Emily's place in my life. And then I'll just expose her for the fraud she is and be done with her. Sir... I realize how badly you've been hurt. She used and humiliated me, Alfred. She deserves the same in return. Perhaps. But is it possible that, in hindsight, you may regret your actions? Alfred, I appreciate your loyalty and discretion. But don't question my motives. If Rebecca wants to replace her sister, I fully intend to make that happen. All the stuff that happened in the woods was a big mistake. Right, Dominic? Yeah, we call that uh, failure to communicate. Sorry if I uh, scared you guys. You didn't. So it's okay if he's our bodyguard? Dad should have checked with me first. Yeah, well, he trusts Dominic and so do I. I mean, he's a big Yankees fan, just like we are. Oh, and Dad said he'd get us tickets to a World Series game. Isn't that awesome? Great. Dominic can guard you, but he's not guarding me. Then I don't want him either. Can I have a moment with Michael? I don't think that's a good idea. Well, he makes his own decisions, right? I don't mind, Mom. That's cool. Okay. Come on, Morgan. If you want to score points with my dad, find some other way. I don't need a babysitter. Hmm, look, you know what? You can go play in traffic for all I care. This isn't about you. This is about your kid brother. Well, I can take care of Morgan. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me you didn't have a guard when you were his age? Come on, man. That kid hero worships you. He's not going to say yes unless he's got your approval. But, I mean, you probably are a decent guy, but I don't want you trailing after us watching our every move. It's like an invasion of privacy. Oh, well, you know, newsflash here, your father is not exactly a school teacher. He's Sonny Corinthos. Anything can happen and anything does, including ricochet bullets in warehouses. You know, you may not want me as a guard, and that's fine, but you guys do need one. Ah, I'm sorry, I apologize. That was stupid. I shouldn't have put you on the spot like oh, that. No. It's a very valid question, especially given my recent behavior. But I I don't care if Sonny sees us at the carnival or anywhere else. He's not a part of my life. He doesn't get a vote in who I see, okay? Yeah, you care what he thinks. John, Sonny cares about one person all the time. That's himself. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> what, what he sees between you and I, that is not my concern, all right? Olivia! <laughs> This would be my chance to prove it.
Yeah, I just uh, I wanted to talk to you about the carnival. Well, you should have all the information you need. I had a packet sent over to your house at Carly and Jax's request. Yeah, thanks. I just I, I just wanted to take my kids. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't know if you know, but Michael and Christina are back home, and yeah. I want to spend more time with them. Morgan. Well, what are you telling me? I should anticipate a security risk or what? No, no, I'm gonna have you know I'm gonna have my own security. I just I just didn't want my kids to like wait in line for the for the you know rides and Son, the gate. Really? Well, I just... you think people don't stare at your kids enough just because they're your kids? Now you're gonna have them go marching right up to the front of the lines? Come on. I, I trust that you'll do the right thing. When he does something stupid like that, just thank God I had the good sense. Good sense to do what? I'm not worried about me, but uh, Morgan should have a guard. I want him to be safe. Well, hey, you can either put up with me or uh, get your dad to send someone else. Maybe he'll uh, send you the uh, No Neck Jim Betty brothers. Well, Morgan obviously likes you. <laughs> hey, you guys can come back in now. I thought you were upstairs in your room. Yeah, and I thought you were out back with Jack. <laughs> you guys are so predictable, it's scary. Oh, you're teaching bad habits to your youngest son? I'm not apologizing. Curiosity is an inherited trait. And a sign of intelligence. Oh, right. really? So what did you and Dominic decide? Oh, he's right, you know. We should have a guard. And if Morgan wants Dominic, I'm cool with it. Great. So you can come with us to the carnival tomorrow. <laughs> Jackal would be a willing confidant should you wish to express your feelings. Stop. We're done. Case is closed. Finished. Fine. fine. Well, then I will segue to the subject closest to my own heart. Uh, it is with great pride that I announce that Maximista has agreed to become my bride. <laughs> that's... That's great. I'm, I'm happy for you, Spinelli. Yeah, um, uh, the nuptials uh, initially scheduled for September 21st will now occur on September 25th. Oh, okay, whatever the date, I'll, I'll be there. Uh, I was actually hoping for um, a greater, greater level of participation. What do you mean? Well, as I take my vows and, and pledge my soul to Maximista for all eternity, will you stand by my side as my best man? Where does a pink tie fit in? Trust me, I totally get wanting to keep things casual. That's how I felt about me and Spinelli until things started spiraling out of control. I mean, I do love him, but can't a girl just love a guy and commit herself to him without making some huge always and forever statement? <laughs> I guess that's hard to do when you're getting married. You and Spinelli are getting married? Oh, yeah, that's the plan. Wow, I'm sorry, but that's just not the most enthusiastic response I've ever heard. <sighs> I just feel too young to get married, and I really want to focus on my career. I just got promoted, and I feel like now is the time I should make my mark in the fashion world. Okay, wait a minute, though. Spinelli's always been supportive of your career, so... Still, I just don't feel like marriage is for me. And I keep getting this sinking feeling that I'm walking into a trap, and when I finally get in it, I will be banging out in the bars, begging to get out. Uh-oh. Have you told Spinelli any of this? Oh, I tried. But he's just so happy. I couldn't bear to break his heart. And then we made a wedding date, and this whole thing just kind of took on a life of its own after that. Well, I have to give it to my wife. She's an excellent sleuth. Oh, I guess it's in the jeans. No, please do not encourage her. Before I know it, she'll be donning a cat suit and rappelling into the Floyd's bedroom to prove that Andrew's a murderer. Whatever, well, Floyd deserves it. So, what did she find? She's got a list of every person that was in the hotel that used a credit card within the three hours that Brianna was murdered. Okay. Well, so now, now what? Now she's got to 
find hopefully somebody on that list that can prove that Andrea is at the hotel. Why am I not surprised? Monica, if you are trying to bring on heart palpitations by sneaking up on me, you just failed. So I take it you are celebrating. So I take it that you found out from your cronies in cardiology that I passed my test with flying colors. So it's a time to celebrate. Well, absolutely, but I was thinking maybe you could do it tomorrow. Right here at the Metro for the carnival kickoff party. I need you to schmooze all of the big spenders so they will write all the big checks. Mm -hmm. God, that sounds boring in the extreme, Monica. But I guess I can endure anything for for a worthy cause. And of course, Michael's foundation is a is a worthy cause. Absolutely. So I can count on you to work the room? Well, <laughs> with the fortification of a couple of these, it'll be my pleasure. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, if, if one person were to kill another person and that person, thank you, uh, wanted to line up their defense, would their attorney be obligated to report them if the police weren't actively investigating? Bit of an ethical quagmire, but no. The information would be confidential and the attorney would not be obligated to report the client. What if this uh, hypothetical person knew of a witness? Then the hypothetical person should go about preparing his defense. Because the police will undoubtedly uncover the witness sooner or later. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, unless, unless the witness happened to be a very elderly man with a possible heart condition and he tragically met his demise before questioning. The duties of best man are, are, are simple, but profoundly meaningful. I, I guess, of course, you'd stand by my side as I pledge my troth. <laughs> and uh, you'd, of course, be the bearer of the wedding rings as well. How, how big is this wedding? Uh, the guest list has not been tabulated, but it, it'll, it'll focus on, on the bride and the groom. And this groom is in dire need of your support. I don't know, Spinelli. I, 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 I just... You've... You've been my mentor and friend. You've, you've endured listening to all of my romantic woes and offered sage advice. It, it's inconceivable to me that anyone else would be standing by my side on such a glorious occasion. Please, do me this honor. I will be your best man. Gracious, thanks. No pink tie. The color scheme's already been selected. No. No way around it. No pink tie. But, no thanks. Pink. You are in luck. The hospital carnival is tomorrow, and I was thinking that maybe you could take Sam as your date to make up for how you treated her before. I mean, it's the least you could do. I, I don't know how you get these things. I know. I don't like carnivals out. either. A couple years back, my boyfriend was killed at one. I don't know if you remember, but am I going to sit home tomorrow and wallow in bad memories? No. I will be there supporting a good cause. I already support Michael's foundation. Well, you need to support Michael's foundation in person, and I think it would make Sam happy if you took her out on a date. Uh, thinking about, you know, busting the boys out of daycare. Maybe grabbing a burger at Kelly's. Sounds perfect, because my shift is over. Oh, perfect. You know what? How about we call Nicholas to join us? Do you know what's going on with him? What do you mean? Well, I ran into him at the pier, and Rebecca showed up, and it was like the whole betrayal never even happened. Uh, they kissed, and he invited her to the carnival, and it was... Uh, what, you don't, don't think know. you could have forgiven her that quickly? No, no, I don't. But they seem so happy and I just can't see him having a complete turnaround. I, I don't know, especially after all the things he said. What did he tell you? That he would never forgive her. He was angrier than I've ever seen him. So why would he be kissing Rebecca, acting like everything is normal? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I am. Good afternoon, Alfred. Hi. 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 Glad you could come. Thanks. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Never pass up an invitation to tea. <laughs> Not that I ever really had one before meeting you. Well, I'm sure you've had your 
share of invitations to carnivals. Oh, you know, I um, went with my folks to the county fair every 4th of July. I don't know, my favorite ride was the Ferris wheel going up high, looking over the entire town. <laughs> well, then we'll ride it tomorrow. Look out over the harbor. How's that? <laughs> you know, no offense, but I never really pictured you as the carnival kind of guy. Really? You don't think I would enjoy rigged games and tawdry attractions? <laughs> Let's just put it this way. Um, I doubt they had carnivals on the Greek island where you grew up. <laughs> True. True. But my uncle did take me to fencing tournaments. Does that oh, count by any chance? Oh, well, you know, fencing, <laughs> beanbag toss, I don't know, close enough. <laughs> oh, I got you a surprise. <clears throat> would you like to open it before or after tea? Uh, before. Of course. What is it? It's something to wear to the carnival. You got any lasagna or anything? You know what? You're gonna have to get yourself a microwave so you don't starve to death in that room of yours. Oh, well. Who needs one of those with your good cooking? Is this gonna be now? Really? You're gonna just stop over my apartment anytime you damn well, please? Oh, Mom, I'm out. Ten minutes. Ten minutes earlier, you would have walked in on both Johnny and Sonny here. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry I missed that. Yeah, so am I. You know why? Because then you would have exposed yourself as a cop. Okay? It would have been a little bit awkward for Sonny and Johnny to both kill you at the same time. So you, you would have had to get your ass out of town. Alive. Operative word being alive. Well, I guess the angels want me to stick around and bring Sonny to justice. What am I going to do with you? What? Um, make more lasagna. Dante? This is a lose-lose situation, okay? You know how many cops and feds have tried to take Sonny down? It doesn't work. They all wind up dead. No one has gotten as close as I have. Sonny just asked me to be a bodyguard to his two kids. I will be at the carnival tomorrow with Morgan and Michael. Hey, Dad. I'm glad you're home safe. I'm sorry, because you're all worried. Don't be sorry. I should be sorry, because I came down on you too hard. I said some things I should have said. Well, I was wrong to run away. But it turned out to be all right in the end. Let me see how you look. You all right? Yeah. Jason said you handled yourself real well. Yeah, I learned a lot about myself in Mexico. You know, maybe along the way I grew up a little bit. I want to tell you something, okay? I know Christina caused the accident, but if it had been you, I would have forgiven you no matter what because you're my son and I love you. You know what? It's terrific, and I'm going to tell you why. You ready? There's a carnival tomorrow, and I want to take you, Michael, and Christina. Oh, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm back. <laughs> My brother and I had such a cool time in Cancun. That's the best part. I was totally not punished. My mom was all about putting it behind me, and my dad did his classic, love you, but I'm way too busy to deal with this. <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining. Dad gave me a couple hundred bucks to go shopping. I'll call you later and tell you what I bought. Bye. Claudia, I was hoping I'd see you earlier at the house. Welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. I just want to say, I am so sorry for what I did. Driving without a license, forcing you off the road, and not even checking to see if you were okay. It was totally wrong in every way. It was wrong. But it was an accident. You lost your baby because of me. I wouldn't blame you for hating me. I don't hate you. I just want to put it behind us. Hey. That's incredibly generous. Well, <laughs> maybe this is a chance for us both to learn something. What's that old saying? Live for today. Right? After the uh, kickoff party, I will have the car take you to the carnival. There's no reason to send a car for me. I can drive myself.
Improperly administered digitalis can cause cardiac arrest. I know my limit and I will stick to it. There's no reason in the world I can't drive. You are such a fool. All right, okay. Why don't you stay home from your medical conference and drive me yourself if you're so worried? Well, because quite honestly, I am delighted to be getting out of town. I have learned from very sad experience that when Port Charles has very big events, they often end in disaster. Oh, Monica, you are being so superstitious. I hope so. I really, I hope so.